It's time for another Party Poker Moscone Cup player announcement and things are starting to get interesting. Just two places remain on Team Europe and Alex Laley is with me to tell us who exactly will be taking spot number four on the team to join Fedor Gorst, Jason Shaw and Joshua Filler. Alex, good to see you. We're making a bit of a habit of this, but nice to see you again. Yeah, hi Nick. I'm good. Good to see you. So I know you, you're working very closely with the players already on the team. Have you seen a reaction, a good reaction from the likes of Joshua and Jason since you announced them for the team? Yeah, things are heating up in the practice sessions. Uh, the level's going up. I rarely see them miss a ball, even though it's, you know, it's a couple of months away, the Moscone Cup. Uh, they're buzzing. Yeah. And of course, Alex, still two players to choose for the team. How much more difficult is it getting for you, especially because you can't see them in competitive action at the moment? Uh, well, my choice for today was an easy one. Uh, you know, it's difficult to let this man out of the team. It's going to be hard, the last one, the next one, because that will mean that I'm going to be leaving one person that I'd like to be in. I'll be leaving him out. But for today, it wasn't that hard of a choice, actually. Well, we won't name any names just yet, but I think this might give it away a little bit anyway. It, it was a guy who actually was left out of the team last year. So was that one of the first things that you wanted to rectify for this year to bring this player back? Well, you know, he looked so good two years ago and it was just for one jump shot from Skylar Woodward that my player would have become the MVP and would have played a decisive role for Team Europe. But Skyler was just too much to handle at that time. And the year after, he became an MVP again. But I got the horse now in the team and uh, he's ready for a chase. And so what is it about this player that makes him such a good player for the Party Poker Moscone Cup? Well, for me, this player, maybe more than any other of them, has looked very comfortable and cool and calm and collected in the matchroom arena, tournament after tournament. And uh, especially in doubles play, does that tell you enough? No, he, he, he brings a lot of calmness to the table. And we have a couple of players with Filler and Shaw who bring a lot of fire. So this will allow us to combine fire with ice. Well, Alex, I think that does tell us enough. We can bring the guy into the conversation in just a moment. But first, tell us, who are you talking about? Yeah, ta-da, Alvin Ocean. Ice water veins. What a shot by Alvin Ocean. joins Team Europe for the Party Poker Moscone Cup and he's with us from Austria now. Albin, great to see you. How's it feel to be back on the team, especially after missing out last year? Well, it's an incredible feeling. I mean, uh, I was looking forward actually to play last year, but uh, I knew that I didn't have a good year and Niels just had better results in the end. And uh, of course, the experience spoke for him. So uh, I was looking for this year. I mean, there are no tournaments and everything. So I thought, well, there could be a chance, but maybe just a small chance. But I think it's one of the nicest uh, things when you get a call from the coach that you're in. Did you think at the start of the year it might be difficult to prove yourself again for Team Europe? Because as you say, there haven't been any competitions this year. 
Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, it was it was tough. I mean, uh, no one knew actually what the rules are for uh, the for the spots and everything. So I knew I have probably better chances if there are four or five wild cards than uh, playing the whole season, whatever, or just taking the the Euro Tour ranking. So I have to say I was quite happy when when Metro announced that there are four wild cards. And talking about last year, you sound very understanding of the situation between yourself and Niels is a very difficult choice, but it, it must have been hurtful. It must have hurt you when you didn't get picked on the team. Of course, it was a horrible feeling for a couple of weeks. For me, it was was tough time. Um, but uh, in the end, I actually did understand the decision because I didn't win anything except, except the World Cup of Pool with Mario. Um, Niels won, I think, two tournaments or something. I was... I think a little bit behind Niels in the rankings. So, of course, many said you played incredible at the uh, Moscone Cup, but that was just actually one tournament and we're looking at the whole season. So I think in the end it was fair, but hard to take, of course. And Alex spoke himself there about the 2018 Moscone Cup. How do you reflect on that? Because as Alex says, you were very close to being the MVP. You had a great tournament yourself, but Europe didn't win the cup that year. Um, well, actually, I think it started uh, on day one already. I think when uh, uh, Steyer played Niels on the first day, the third match, I think we won the first two matches and then Steyer made two incredible jump shots, um, had some rolls and then they made the 2-1. I think if we would have made the 3-0, um, it could have gone a very, very different way. And of course, um, the the most incredible match probably in my career was against Skyler on the last day, the first match. Um, well, I couldn't do anything better or, or worse. It was uh, just an incredible match. And like Alex said, um, the jump shot was incredible in, the, in that uh, situation. And so big credit to him that he made it. And Alex mentioned you've won a couple of big doubles events in the Matrim Arena, the World Cup pool twice with Mario. Do you think that's something that helps you at the Moscone Cup as well, where we do have the doubles matches? Um, uh, I would say so, because um, me and Mario, we don't really practice much together, um, because Carl asked us about our secret, and I said, there, there's no secret. I mean, we're practicing twice a year, maybe, with each other, so... Maybe I'm just a very good um, doubles player and I can pair up with any player. I don't know. It's just um, I'm just feeling good with in doubles and, of course, also in singles. But, um, yeah, I think my st statistics are very good for doubles. Well, I'm not sure that, uh, that um, Carl would need any secrets. Him and Darren Appleton were a pretty strong doubles partnership as well at the World Cup yeah, and, sure. and the Moscone Cup, of course. Um, the team that you're joining, of course, the world champion Fedor Gors, we've also got Jason Shaw and Joshua Filler. With one more player to join, which is a very difficult choice for Alex, could this perhaps be one of the strongest European teams we've ever seen? Uh, well, it's for sure the youngest. Um, but also, if you look at the names, uh, it's, I think, for sure the, the strongest. I think before the strongest, in my opinion, was the 2000, uh, was it 16? Or something, or 18 with uh, with Gray, Darren, Jason, and Will was it Niels? Um, yeah, in, but yeah, when you I, made your I, debut in 16. Yeah, I think this year you got very big shooters, and uh, like like um, Alex said, with with Jason and Joshua, you got two incredible left-handed players. Joshua for me is still the probably most talented player we have right now. And Fedor, who is probably as calm as me on the table. Um, so it's fire, fire and twice ice. I should correct myself, actually, Albin. Of course, you made your debut in 2015 when you were the world champion. And just to, to bring yeah. Alex back into the conversation, Alex, Albin mentioned the youthfulness of the team just there. Is that part of your decision now for the fifth and final spot, a choice between youth and experience, perhaps? Uh, yeah, you hit it on the nil. Yeah, I mean, you look at what a player can bring to the table, but also at what a player can bring to the team away from the table. And as we've seen, uh, this is so essential in the Moscone Cup. The past two years, Team Europe was made a favorite. But this was based on the quality of five individual players. But what USA has proven so well, that it's about bonding and chemistry and being shoulder to shoulder over a four-day period.
So we need that. And in designing for the fifth player, we'll, we'll weigh that. Yeah. Well, Alex, we're very excited to find out who will be the fifth and final player for Team Europe. But for now, we've got Fedor Gorst, we've got Joshua Filler, Jason Shaw and Albin Ocean. Thank you both for joining us. We'll hear your final pick in just two weeks' time, Alex. We're excited for that. But yeah, Albin, Alex, thank you very much. Be safe, guys. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Get it all, we gon' we gon' get it all. Got the vision in our scopes, gonna stumble, gonna fall. Can't give up is what we made for. Try again and we gon' fall.